it's Mo from Sparkly Belly. Today I want to share with you three of my favorite sewing tools that I think made my costume making more fun, easier, and faster. If you're looking to upgrade your sewing tools, I highly recommend these. I'll include links to where you can purchase in the description below. Let's get started. The first on my list are wonder clips. These are just plastic clips, but they have really good grip. You can use these to hold layers of fabric together. I like using these when I hold layers of delicate fabric together that I don't want to poke pins and leave holes. I often use these in place of pins. It's impossible to completely ditch pins, but Sometimes pins make layers of fabric wavy, which makes it harder to sew. But these little clips act like pins and they keep fabrics nice and flat, so it's easier to sew. You just have to be aware that this one is bulkier than pins, so you have to remove them before you get to the sewing foot. Also, another one of my favorite ways to use them is when I try on costumes that are in progress and when I want to adjust the fit. When you don't have someone to help, adjusting the fit of costumes can be very challenging. But with these clips, I can just place the clips and adjust very easily. The second one I want to recommend is the rotary cutter. This was my first sewing tool upgrade. When you make dance costumes, you could be cutting yards and yards of fabric. And fabric scissors tend to be heavy, so holding fabric scissors for an extended period of time can be challenging, it's so heavy, it's tiring, and it's probably not good for your wrists and hands. With a rotary cutter, you can cut fabric like you would cut pizza. The blade rolls really smoothly, and with a little practice, it's pretty easy to follow lines on fabric. Make sure to get a self-healing mat together with a rotary cutter so that you don't scratch your working surface. I think cutting fabric is my least favorite part of costume making, but my rotary cutter combined with a self-healing mat and a clear acrylic ruler really made costume making easier for me. It's a lot faster and easier to cut fabric now. And finally, a dress form. I hesitated a long time before I got this dress form because it was more of a bigger investment for me. But one day I found this more inexpensive dress form for $80 Canadian. This particular model doesn't have those fancy dials to adjust sizes. I just picked the dress form that's closest to my body measurement. And I love having one around. It's great for trimming skirt hem to make it perfectly even. It's also great for seeing the overall look of the costumes I'm working on. And it's also great for decorating. It can be really challenging to have to work on everything flat on the floor. And fabric can act differently when it's placed on a flat surface versus when it's hung vertically. So this dress form really makes my life easier when I'm working on costumes, especially long skirts. This may be something I'd like to upgrade in the future because, for example, this one doesn't have a soft foam inside. Um, it just has a very thin layer of foam. So you can't really poke pins through. You can still use pins through the thin layer of foam, but if you use a lot of pins, it might be a little frustrating. Having said, based on the way I use this dress form, I think this is a great one and I'll definitely keep this for now. So these are three tools that you don't have to have to create costumes, but I think they help me a lot and they improved my sewing. If you're looking to upgrade your sewing tool collection, I highly recommend these. I hope you found this information useful and if you did, please share this post with your dancer friends. And if you want to learn more about basic tools for costume making and more, sign up for my free course, Belly Dance Costume Making 101. You'll find a link to sign up around here and the description below. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!